the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to be on our stomach, obviously, and we're going to bend our knees. This seems simple, but it isn't. Our focus is going to be on keeping our low back and pelvis stable while we bend our knee. So for some of you, if you feel extremely sway-backed and compressed in your low back, take a small pillow or a towel and place it right under your, your low back, kind of at the very, very base of your abdomen. And then you can lay flat. And what you want to think about is this is your sacrum. It's a triangular bone, right, in the, back, in your, in the lowest part of your spine. You could even put your hand here, and you want to keep this stable as you bend your knee. You don't want it to tip up when you bend your knee. So that's one place you can feel how you want to drop your sacrum out of your spine in a sense. You're going to think about reaching or allowing your sacrum to release down towards your toes as you bend your knee. I don't mean tuck your tail under. I just mean don't let it move. So as you bend your knee, keep this stable. Another place to feel if you're staying stable in your pelvis and your low back is to put a hand under the most prominent part of your pelvis, right up high, and as you move your, your leg, don't let your pelvis move. When we walk and run, we should be able to move our legs and not have any motion happen right here. This can be really hard for a lot of people. So you want to think about your abdomen, again, your your abdominal muscles lifting up and in, lifting up and in. You can even take your hand and tell your abdominal muscles with your fingers to lift up and in, stabilize your pelvis as you bend your knee. So you're going to do one side and then the other with no movement here. You could think of floating your legs out of the hip socket. You don't want your knees to dig down into the mat when you bend your knee. You want them to float on the surface of the mat and bend your knee and then bend the other knee. So about three sets of 10, 30 repetitions is good. Once you've mastered this, then you want to take it to where you're bringing your leg up and you do what we call windshield wipers. You let your foot go side to side with no movement in your pelvis or low back. So again, it's helpful to place your hands under the most prominent place in your pelvis, these bones, and make sure there's no movement when you move. What people tend to do is rock and roll when they let their foot come in and out. So you want to use your abdominal muscles again and it's very subtle. You won't feel a strong contraction, but what you should feel is no movement at all in your pelvis. And then come down and bring this one up and then out and in. These are windshield wipers. Slow and smooth, no excessive pressure of your knee into the mat. Very good. Again, three sets of 10 of these is really good.